Microsoft is quietly making waves with its latest Windows 11 25H2 and 24H2 updates. And while the spotlight has mostly been on new features and design tweaks, there's one crucial system level change that's gone unnoticed by most users, but it could have major implications for businesses and home setups alike. In the name of improving security and preventing unauthorized access, Microsoft has enforced a new mandatory rule that changes how Windows authenticates devices across networks. This update directly impacts enterprise environments, IT administrators, and even regular users who clone or duplicate Windows installations. If you've been facing network login issues, RDP errors, or credential prompts after installing the 25H2 update, this could be the reason. Let's dive deep into what this hidden policy means, why it was introduced, and how you can fix potential problems to keep your Windows 11 systems running smoothly and securely. Microsoft has once again raised the bar for system security with its latest Windows 11 updates, but this time it's done so quietly, without the flashy headlines or user fanfare. The Windows 11 25H2 update, which officially began rolling out last month, has now introduced a new mandatory authentication rule that changes the way devices connect and communicate within networks, especially for enterprise and IT managed systems. Alongside this, Microsoft also made the same enforcement active for Windows 11 24H2, since both versions share a common servicing branch and code base. So what exactly has changed? Microsoft has now made it impossible to authenticate devices using NTLM or Kerberos protocols if those devices share duplicate computer SIDs or security identifiers. This is not a cosmetic tweak. It's a deep security level enforcement designed to prevent potential breaches that could occur through cloned or duplicated Windows installations. Previously, it was technically possible for multiple clone systems to share the same SID, which could lead to authentication conflicts or worse, unauthorized access to shared files and network resources. With this enforcement, Windows 11 25H2 and 24H2 now reject such authentications outright, meaning systems with non-unique SIDs will no longer be able to connect to network drives, remote desktops, or shared folders. Microsoft documentation explains that users affected by this change will begin noticing problems like being repeatedly prompted for credentials, failed login attempts despite using the correct username and password, and even partial mismatch in machine ID errors. Some might also encounter specific messages like, login attempt failed, your credentials didn't work, or access denied errors when trying to connect to shared network resources. The event viewer on these affected devices may log entries like SEC underscore 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 credentials in the security log or local security authority server service, OSASA to DLL, event ID 6167 in the system log, both pointing to a mismatch in machine ID or manipulated authentication tickets. Essentially, Microsoft is tightening its internal security to ensure that every Windows machine, whether in a corporate environment or at home, has a unique digital identity within its ecosystem. The reason behind this move makes sense. Duplicate SIDs could, in some cases, allow unauthorized access to restricted files, posing a serious security risk across shared networks. To combat this, Microsoft strongly recommends users and system administrators rely on SysPrep, a built-in Windows tool before deploying or cloning any Windows installation. SysPrep, short for System Preparation Tool, generalizes the operating system by removing all machine-specific identifiers, including SIDs, ensuring every copy of Windows is truly unique. It essentially wipes out the unique machine data from an image, allowing it to be safely deployed across multiple systems while causing SID duplication conflicts. If you're wondering how this affects you, let's break it down. For enterprise administrators managing hundreds or even thousands of systems, this enforcement means extra caution during OS deployment. Cloning machines without running SysPrep will now result in serious network authentication issues, effectively cutting off those systems from domain logins, network shares, or even basic RDP access. For home users, the impact may not be as widespread. But if you've ever cloned a drive, used a system backup image, or deployed the same Windows image across multiple PCs without reinitializing it, you might face similar problems when trying to connect to shared folders or remote sessions. Microsoft's official guidance states that the solution lies in using SysPrep to ensure SID uniqueness before connecting devices to a domain or network. 
The company even published a new support article under KB5070568, detailing how to use SysPrep to eliminate SID duplication safely. This enforcement also ties into Microsoft's broader vision of creating a zero-trust security model where every device and user identity must be uniquely verified before being granted access to sensitive resources. Alongside this major authentication change, Microsoft has also rolled out a list of 36 new settings for IT administrators to manage and deploy enterprise systems more effectively under Windows 11 25H2. These settings span areas like Windows Update Control, Power Management, Access Permissions, and even AI-assisted features in enterprise builds. The new capabilities allow organizations to fine-tune how features are rolled out and managed, bringing more flexibility and automation to system administration. For example, administrators can now better control feature updates and hot patch scheduling, ensuring smoother rollout cycles without disrupting business operations. It's part of Microsoft's larger plan to make Windows 11 not just a user-friendly OS, but also a robust enterprise platform that can adapt to the increasing demands of corporate cybersecurity. And if you're wondering why this enforcement has appeared now, it aligns with Microsoft's steady transition toward Windows Server 2025, which also uses the same updated authentication framework as Windows 11 25H2. Both versions are now unified under a shared code base that ensures consistent security policies across both desktop and server environments. This means businesses upgrading their servers and workstations simultaneously will benefit from synchronized authentication logic, reducing the risk of cross-environment vulnerabilities. However, some users who installed the 25H2 update have already reported confusion and frustration when suddenly finding themselves unable to access shared drives or RDP sessions that worked perfectly before. In most cases, the root cause has turned out to be duplicates since originating from cloned or image Windows installations. The fix, while straightforward, requires proper reconfiguration, either by regenerating a unique SID using SysPrep or by reinstalling Windows with clean setup. For advanced users and system admins, running the SysPrep command SysPrep slash generalize slash ob slash shutdown from an elevated command prompt before capturing an image is the best way to avoid future SID conflicts. Once this process completes, every redeployed system will have a fresh, unique SID automatically generated upon first boot. As for home and small business users, this may serve as a good reminder to avoid cloning installations without proper preparation. Using backup tools that support SysPrep or unique SID generation can prevent many headaches down the line. While the immediate impact of this new requirement may feel like a nuisance for some, it's ultimately a step forward in fortifying Windows against unauthorized access and SID spoofing attacks, which have been a known vector for privilege escalation in enterprise networks. The Windows 11 25 H2 update is shaping up to be one of Microsoft's most security-focused releases yet, complementing the company's broader commitment to zero-trust architecture, encrypted authentication, and improved credential handling across its ecosystem. The combination of stricter authentication enforcement and expanded admin controls makes Windows 11 more resilient, particularly for hybrid and cloud-connected environments. If you're an IT professional, ensuring that every device image you deploy passes through SysPrep is now more than just best practice. It's a requirement for proper Windows operation moving forward. And for everyday users, if you encounter sudden credential errors or access denials after updating, don't panic. Check your SID setup before assuming network issues or password mismatches. This subtle yet powerful enforcement is one more reason why keeping your systems properly configured and updated is essential in today's digital landscape. So while Microsoft didn't make a big announcement about this change, its impact will be felt across organizations and users alike, redefining how Windows ensures trust and security between devices. So, if you've updated to Windows 11 25H2 or 24H2, make sure your system has a unique SID and avoid network headaches by running SysPrep before cloning or deploying. Microsoft's silent update may have caught many off guard, but understanding it now can save you endless troubleshooting later. Stay updated, stay secure, and for more deep dives into the latest tech updates and discoveries, keep watching Techverse, where technology meets imagination.